Hello and welcome, this is Sudori. Let's continue. We're in business, lad! Heads up, no time for slacking. From B to U has landed its first major order. 50 gallons of honey by tomorrow. I want this place to be a hive of activity. It's your chance to show the world what sort of workers you are. They're certainly buzzing with excitement. Or maybe they're hungry. Did you remember to feed them this morning, Gromit? Never mind, lad. I'll do it. Gromit the remote is... control for my Sniffer 3000. Too bad about the teasing problems. Still, this might come in handy. Flowers. The perfect meal for a hungry hive. Does Gromit seem a little bit ignorant? <laughs> My workers are very devoted to their queen. Uh, bon appetit. Oh. Hmm. Not exactly a flood, is it? Hmm. Flowers, Gromit! That's the weak link in our production chain. We need more flowers. And he just found it out by himself by doing advanced air yeah, whatever. Uh, let's continue. Now where can I find a whole lot of flowers in a hurry? from your subterranean layer? Been doing a spot of gardening, have you, Miss Flick? Working my green fingers to the bone. But the hard work appears to be paying off. Indeed it does. Blooms everywhere. I call it my purple paradise. It certainly looks delicious. I mean... I imagine it would look delicious uh, if you were an insect. You mean, if I were a bee? Well, now you mention it. You want to feed my flowers to your bees? That is, if you don't mind. How many would you like? As many as you can spare. Oh, you can have all you want, Mr. Wallace. Oh, much obliged, Miss Flick. Here. You can jolly well grow your own. Uh, right ho. Who were that for? should have a nice bed of flowers in two or three months. I can't wait two or three months. I've got a deadline. This evening. Ugh, you poor simple man. Nothing grows that quickly. I wonder. Rex Armstrong's quick grow muscle formula. Watch them sprout in seconds. Hmm. 
if it works on people, perhaps I could adapt it to work on flowers. Three miracle ingredients. Grotein, Energize, Strongium. Well, I need a miracle, and fast. It shouldn't be too tricky to knock up a batch myself. Then we'll see who's got the grandest garden in West Wallaby Street. The hive will be humming in no time. Right. I forgot the cheese. Dang it. <laughs> Yeah, normally you explore a little bit, a little bit, and get a little bit stuff. Um, I so did not. I don't even have mm. those. Last night's bedtime snack. Gorgonzola makes a nice change from Wensleydale. Surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll get the energizer first. Ah, Mr. Wallace! Mr. Wallace, I've got something for you. Much obliged. That looks like. Can it really be cheese? Indeed it is, Wallace. Vensley Dale, your favorite. And. Am I to take it that these are... Yes, three samples. Go on, duck in. Don't mind if I do, Mr. Paneer. One for now. And one for later. Okay. Don't forget, Mr. Wallace, 50 gallons by sunset. Well, yeah, yeah. if it isn't Wallace. I had a notion you'd be nosing round the police station this morning. Oh, there's Miss Sniffer 3000. Banged up like a common criminal. Oh, breaks my heart. That cheese detector's not a bad machine. Just a bit over keen. It's all the energites in its system. Energites? It seems to me, yes. Energites is one of the ingredients in Rex Armstrong's Quick Grow Muscle Formula. I used my last Energite battery to fuel the sniffer. I'll have to get it back if I want to finish the formula. Um, so here it is. Uh, I'm gonna just finish off this part. And then let's see how well it goes. Must be awfully hot under that helmet, I reckon. A sunny day like today. It's a trifle sweltering, yes. But danger and discomfort are all in the line of duty for an officer of the law. Though most folk don't appreciate it. for early release of the Sniffer 3000, Constable Dibbins. Yes, and I notice it's attracted the signatures of just one man and his dog. We're only appealing for natural justice. But your blinking cheese detector thing of what do you call it, destroyed an entire grocery store. Uh, teething problems. It's still only a prototype. A prototype? It's a villain, if you ask me. A diabolical device. You can see that in its face. My machine isn't evil, Constable Dibbins. It's just got a short fuse and a few loose nuts. Hmm, we'll see. I'm going to formally interview this glorified tin can of yours, and if it can convince me that it's not a menace to society, then perhaps I'll release it into your custody.
You there, prisoner. Kindly look at me when I'm talking to you. Uh, here is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just get this. Might be another part as well. Really? Yeah. We must break here. On the next part, it's gonna be a short part, I think. I'll see you on the next part. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and rate me 5 stars. See you later.